What's going on guys, it's your boy Tuba back again for another player review. Today we're going to review the foot swap Leymar, Jefferson Leymar that you can obtain by giving in six, that is yep, correct, six foot swap uh, cards. Realistically, I don't know how much this technically costs, I'm going to go with essentially it's a free card so i'm gonna bear that in mind guys i do think it's a free, free card you could pretty much do it by avoiding any spc if you wait a little bit longer but there are currently six foot swap cards available and i thought do you know what i said this at the beginning i was a little bit tempted i'm gonna be completely honest i was a little bit tempted in doing a 100k pack but i thought okay let me go on my other account and see how he plays first and yeah, basically get a good idea on how the card feels. That being said, let's just get straight into it. So looking at his card, he, in my opinion, looks face value wise like one of the best centre mid slash DMs in the Premier League, um, not including Kante or Pogba. If you want to play Kante, I can understand that, but he's a lot more expensive, of course. Essentially, this card is free, so that is one big thing I'm going to take into consideration. This card is free. Kante is around, what, 400k, um, probably a little bit more if I'm not wrong, and Pogba is near enough around the 500k mark. Okay, so, yeah, guys, looking at his card, when I first looked at it and when I first on the stream for the foot swap deals, I thought, okay, you know what? He's, he looks very good with that 79 pace, 70 shot, 77 passing, 82 defense, 85 physical, and 77 dribbling. Never mind all of that. He has got a four-star weak foot. And for me, I do think weak foot is very important this FIFA, guys. I do generally think weak foot is really important, especially in your midfield, because regardless of a player having, let's say, half-decent passing stats or half-decent shot stats, if they've got a very bad week for, especially in midfield, and I can't stress that enough, especially in midfield, because you're not really, if, you, if you're completely honest, guys, as a midfielder, you're not really going to focus whether or not, when you're making a pass, whether or not it's going to be on their weak foot or strong foot. Half the time, you just want to either clear the ball, just get rid of it, pass it forward, so on and so forth. And especially for a DM, um, you're near enough just going to clear the ball or just want it away from your defense at that time. So one important thing is weak foot because obviously if it's on their weak foot and they've not got a really high weak foot, so let's say they've got two stars um, or maybe three, maybe even three if you're a bit cheeky, regardless of their passing, if you put it on their weak foot, it's going to go waywards and potentially could cost you a few um, goals realistically. Okay. So yeah, guys, one thing I did notice is that he had a four-star week for it. So I did have high hopes for him. Unfortunately, his biggest, one of his um, things I did notice that is a negative was the fact that he is only five foot ten um, with medium high defense work rates. It wasn't too bad. I thought, okay, let me give him a go. Let's see how good he is. Now, the first thing I noticed when I played with his card, guys, and it was so surprising because I didn't think this was going to be the first thing I noticed. But it is. It was the fact that he was quite agile on the ball. He did swerve in and out of uh, players while dribbling quite easily. He wasn't as sluggish as some players are. Um, for example, and probably the biggest comparison I'm going to have throughout this review, guys, is with Fabinho. I think a lot of people do use Fabinho. I think he's an amazing card. He's very annoying to come against, but a very good card nonetheless. He is around... If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. I might have to check this up in, in in the near future. But I think he was, the last time I checked, I think he was around 70k. I could be completely wrong. Um, I will check it and get back to you. But yeah, I'm going to compare it to Fabinho. And, okay, tell a lie. No, so on the PS4, Fabinho is around 60k. So essentially, you're getting a card for free or you can pay 60k for Fabinho. That being said, I feel like Fabinho, Dembele... Potentially Fred, if you want to play him and you're a little bit crazy like that, if you want to play him at CDM, um, are your biggest comparisons to this card. So going back into it, guys, the first thing I did notice was his agility. He was very smooth on the ball. He didn't really feel too sluggish and responsive. He, he was very responsive. That's probably going to be the key word, guys. Um, playing five to ten games with him, I realized he was pretty much an unsung hero. Now, what I meant, mean by that is... He cleared up without me even realizing sometimes. I had to look back at some of the videos and I'm just watching him and his positioning, his defensive work rates. 
and what he did for the team was so important, but you don't... Well, me, initially, when I was playing the first three, four games, I didn't notice him. And again, it was only until I watched certain video clips back that I realized, okay, yeah, do you know what? He's doing so much work. He's putting in so much work. It then got after when I started focusing on him a little bit more when I was playing the five plus um, games with him. I realized, you know what? He is very, very good. He is such a solid CDM. Um, I don't think his pace is ever going to be a problem. He's got 79 pace in game. It feels perfect. He reacts to situations fine. He can get to the ball quickly. Shot wise, I didn't focus on it. Um, I don't really. I mean, he's got very high shot power, but if it ever failed him, I don't think I actually scored. Let me have a quick look. Did I score with him? Okay, yeah, no, tell a lie. I scored two goals with him out of 12 games. So he does have a half decent shot. I remember taking a long shot with him and it was, unfortunately, it did get blocked, but it was quite strong and I f it felt quite promising. But again, not a player, in my opinion, your CDM shouldn't really, depending on how you play at least, shouldn't really be in that position to take a shot or take a long shot. I mean, it could fall to him to from a corner. And that being said, he has got a half decent shot. So yeah, why not? You can go for it. Um, probably the main things I will say is he plays as a solid CDM. Now I did play him at center mid. He wasn't too good. He, you did see him, but I feel like his best position is definitely CDM. Um, what you could do, and one thing I would recommend, he as he is more of a defensive player, you, if you are one of those people that play two CDMs in your formation, sticking him next to someone like Fabinho is not going to be the best idea. I would recommend maybe a Pogba next to him, even a Kante. Now, the Kante reason why is because Kante is more of a workhorse, while Lemar will definitely stay back. So if you have two CDMs, one being more of an attacking one, um, or one being more of a running one, then... Yeah, Lema is definitely a person you can stick next to him because he will definitely stay back. If you have stay back while attacking, which I had and I had cover center on him, um, he performs like a perfect CDM. Like I said, guys, he's more of an unsung hero. He will clean up um, any potential threats. I'm not going to say he's perfect. His biggest flaw is probably his height. I would have loved it if he was around six foot two. If he if he performed the way he does with this card. And he was six foot two. He would be amazing. Um, he is very strong. His physicality in game is less to none. He can literally bully players off the ball. But one thing I did notice is in the air he was quite, quite a bit of a letdown. Um, definitely quite a bit of a letdown. He didn't really win too many headers. I don't think, if I can recall, he actually. Besides, if it went directly to him. I don't think from a corner or anything like that, he did score a goal. He was pretty much taking long shots with him, which is really good. Um, and one thing you will notice when you have his card, guys, no matter how many minutes you are into the game, because he has got that 94 stamina, this guy does not fall short of any energy. Throughout that entirety of those 90 minutes, he will work. This guy will be there. He will definitely put in that shift. You won't really notice any drop in um, performance with him throughout the entirety of the game. And I think that's really important just because as for, for those of you that know, right, like when you're playing a game and it gets to the 70th, 80th minute and your players start feeling dead, you are so prone to that counter attack. You are so prone to errors being made. But with this card, he is just that solid center defensive mid that will be there consistently. And, Another key word, guys, he is so consistent in the way he performs. Um, there was never a time with me where I was getting a little bit frustrated with him. I've played with Fabinho, I've played with Kante, I've played with Pogba um, in the Premier League. I played with Casemiro, I played with a ton of CDMs. Probably my favourite was Makaleli's prime, um, but I had to give that in because I had too much problems with my centre-back, so I ended up getting Rio Ferdinand. But that's another conversation. Um but I feel like he is definitely one of the best CDMs you can get in the Premier League, bar none. Um, like I said, the biggest comparison for that kind of position and the way they play would be Fabinho. The only better thing I see about Fabinho compared to Lema is the fact that Fabinho is taller. But in-game, when it comes to pace, passing, dribbling, defending, physicality, Lema, Lema is a lot better. And... And for that being said, I mean, considering technically he's free, considering obviously you can 
either choose a 100k pack or choose one of these foot swap cards. Considering all of that and considering Fabinho costs 60k, um, Dembele is obviously what, like 7k, 5k or whatever he is. Um, and players like that are uh, essentially this card is free and that's probably going to be the biggest factor in this review as well. Considering he is free, um, I think that makes a big difference. I would, me personally, if I had Fabinho in my team, which I don't I actually have Dembele, um, I would consider, and I am going to consider basically doing Lerma for my real squad and have him as more of a defensive mid. Now, that being said, unfortunately, and this comes at a bit of a cost because he's not got the best club or country, right? So what I mean by that is when it comes to making a hybrid team, it's going to be a little bit more difficult unless you've got a full Premier League team. What I found, because I've got a half um, La Liga and half Premier League team. So when it comes to chemistry for me, if I put him in that CDM position, firstly, Hazard doesn't get the chem and he won't get the chem because I've got Ramos um, in defence. So he doesn't actually get the chem. And unless you've got someone like, uh, not Ronaldo Sanchez, Sanchez, um, the Tottenham Sanchez centre-back card, it's going to be somewhat difficult if you have got a hybrid. Unless you're creative, it's going to be somewhat difficult to actually get those green links and get him and everyone else on that full chem. So, yeah, by him playing, being Colombian and him being playing for Bournemouth, it's a lot harder to get the chem. But like I said, guys, if you do 100% have a full Premier League team, he is a great addition. In my opinion, I think he is better than Fabinho. I've said this... Um, a little while ago, and I do agree with it. Like, honestly, he's better than Fabinho. He plays a lot better than Fabinho. The only wish was he was a little bit taller, but saying that if you do pair him with someone like Pogba and two CDMs, um, that height kind of gets made up for because you've obviously got Pogba. I do not recommend having him next to someone like Fabinho, who's also kind of more of a defensive-minded player. I would definitely have him with someone, um, if you are playing two CDMs, that is more attacking a lot more attacking because he kind of does work and it makes up for everything and they will complement each other. So if you do have one CDM that's more attacking and one that's more defensive, Lema will definitely be that defensive player and he works as a rock at CDM position, guys. He's a rock. Um, so overall, guys, I'm going to give him a solid 9 out of 10. Reason being is because firstly, he's free. Secondly, he works better than Fabinho, in my opinion. Um, thirdly, he's one of the best CDMs I have used in-game. And like I said, the only letdown is if he was a little bit taller and potentially if I was being a little bit picky, if I had to be a little bit picky, I wish his heading um, capabilities were a lot better. But overall, guys, passing-wise, amazing. He does his job. And shooting, if you are happen, if you do happen to take a long shot with him, um, do feel confident in that. Pace-wise, you won't need to worry about that. Stamina, great. Overall, guys, very consistent player. That's probably going to be the key word of today. Um, but yeah, I do recommend him. 9 out of 10 for me, guys. Let me know in the comment section whether or not you think this card looks good. I know a lot of you, when I done my stream initially, said that this card does look good. Let me know in the comment section. Do you? What do you think about this card? Do you agree with me, potentially him being better than Fabinho? Um, like I said, guys, he's free. He's so he's free, guys. It's free. Um, yeah, so that's probably going to be the main thing. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, put your notifications on so you don't miss a stream, guys. Tuba out. Peace.